Here we have a 69 plate BMW M135i X-Drive. Now this vehicle comes with over £7,000 worth of optional extras, all of which are listed on the website. Just to mention one there, we do have the M135i Plus package. We then have the 19 inch gloss black alloy wheels, all of which are in excellent condition and unmarked with the blue M Sport brake calipers behind. With the black sapphire metallic paintwork, we also have the LED headlights, gloss black front grills and front splitter. And there's a look at that front end. Coming around to the passenger side, you'll find we have the colour coded door handles, black door mirrors, black trim around the windows, and the privacy glass at the rear. Now we also have the window deflectors on the windows. We have the shark fan tie and the rear spoiler, which sits nice and aggressively just there. We then have front and rear parking sensors with a rear reversing camera. We also have the dual exit exhaust with the rear diffuser. There's a look at that rear end looking nice and aggressive. M135i badging on the tailgate. Let's open up the boot like so. And you find we have a decent amount of space inside of here. We do have the extra storage nets either side. We have a 12 volt connectivity just there. We also have hooks inside of the boot as well. Partial shelf at the top. We also have a handle just here so we can pull the boot back down. Coming back round to the driver's side, you'll find the vehicle is free for many major marks, dents or scratches. So if we take a look then at the interior now, inside of the back first, just open up the back door, you can see you've got the red leather seats, you also have the fixed ISO points as well back here, for the M Sport style seat belts, vents in the centre as well for the rear passengers, then on, the, on the doors you'll find the brush metal handles, ambient lighting and also electric windows. At the front you've got the same leather seats, both the front seats are heated, and there's a quick look at both of them. We do have the Harman Kardon sound system, electric mirrors and electric windows with child lock for the rear, automatic lights just there, automatic wipers and a multifunctional steering wheel. Just take a seat inside, you find the digital dashboard in front of us, put a foot on the brake, press the start button, the vehicle will start up. We then have the cruise control and spirit buttons here on the left, along with the high beam assist on that stock there. Digital dashboard, which is free from any warning lights. We do also have the head-up display just up here, if the camera can pick it up. And if any of these lights or screens are flickering, it is just the camera, they're not flickering in real life, it's never to worry about. Got the main infotainment screen here in the centre, that's currently showing the sat-nav. Got all the buttons down here, so if we go through some of the features, you find the radio stations, along with the other media options there on the left. Bluetooth phone connectivity for phone calls. Then onto the apps, you can see we have a few apps currently installed, along with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Onto the main menu, if you go up to car, onto the settings, you'll find the interior ambient lighting, plenty of colours to go through, it looks really nice at night time. We do also have the intelligent safety, which makes it a very safe vehicle to drive. Further down, you'll find we have the climate control with the ice called air conditioning, heat seats as well, either side, all working as they should do. Further down from there, you've got the wireless thermal charging. We also have the cup holders, 12 volt connectivity, and a USB port. Automatic gearbox with the different drive modes, so you can see if you press the buttons, we've got Eco Pro, Comfort, and also Sport. Putting the car into reverse, you'll also find the reversing camera with the parking sensors appear on the screen. Back into park by pressing P, you then have the electric handbrake and auto hold button. And finally, the lever armrest just here in the center. But that's all I'm going to show you guys today. If you'd like to find out more, please check out the website. This vehicle comes through a fresh service, fresh MOT, and free nationwide delivery. Thank you for watching. Video test drive of this BMW M135i X Drive. Now, the purpose of the video test drive is to show the vehicle that drives as you expect it to. As you can see, I'm about to fire with the steering wheel to keep it a straight line. We're not veering off to the left or to the right hand side, we're staying straight and true. Now, we're doing the multifunctional steering wheel, which has the paddle shifters either side. So, if you want to set the car into manual mode, you can simply tap on the paddles to change gear. We are also the cruise control and smear buttons on the left, along with the phone connectivity and volume buttons on the right. Digital dashboard in front of us as well, which can show with different features and displays that you would have seen on the photos. Above there, we've got the heads up display, which is currently showing the digital speedometer, along with the speed limit fully covering the road. Now, if you do listen carefully throughout the video and test drive, you'll also notice it should be free from any unwanted knocks or bangs. We do have the premium Harman Kardon sound system, which really does sound incredible as well. 
full leather seats as well for the vehicle, which are really comfortable. You can easily do two, three, over 400 miles in this vehicle. Still got out feeling fresh. Both front seats are also heated, which is perfect for them on cold winter mornings. Now we also have many more features, we've got the ambient lighting front across the doors, which is really nice at night time. Main infotainment screen as well in the centre, which is currently shown the sat nav. Again, plenty more features on there you've ever seen on the photos. We've got the button for the intelligent safety, which makes it a safer vehicle to drive. And we do also have the drawers on climb control with the ice cold air conditioning, perfect for the hot summer days. Automatic gearbox as well, which is really smooth going through all the gears, along with having the different drive modes. Now we are about to take a right hand turn, so we've got our right indicator on, we're slowing down, we're going to take a right hand turn now onto the industrial park, and then we'll perform the military stop now in three, two, and one. Hold on to the brakes, put the car into reverse, reverse camera appears on the screen, back into drive with no issues whatsoever. Now if this video hasn't answered all your questions, then please feel free to get in contact with our sales team, where they can answer all and answer questions, along with running for some inquiries of you. That's all for me today though. Cheers.